An older brother makes his little brother cry at school today, and for all the right reasons. Andrew Irvin has been away for the last two months at Fort Benning for basic training. Andrew's younger brother Dylan thought he was coming home in February, but Andrew decided to surprise Dylan at Pond Elementary School. I thought I was in trouble. <laughs> it was acres to sit me down, and I was in trouble, and then played out really well. Thanks to Quicken Loans' miles for military, Andrew was able to fly home for free. It's great. Quicken Loans is just, it's great that Quicken Loans could pull something together like that and really make things like this possible for a lot of people. It's just a nice gift to be home with everybody and to just enjoy the time and the holiday with everybody. Andrew will spend the next two weeks with his family before he returns to service. You have to get some time away. It definitely helps. Then knowing I only have a month left when I go back and I'm done, so it's, it's nice to be able to have two weeks off to recover and heal up a little bit, take on the last month. And it looks like Andrew and Dylan are already back to doing what brothers do best. Why'd you cry like such a girl? Because, Andrew, I haven't seen you in two months. I haven't seen you in two months, and I cry like a girl. <laughs> I didn't think I'd miss him, of all people, but oh. yeah, I definitely did. Once I was gone, to see him again was just as nice. Now that I get two more weeks to just torture him while I'm here to make up for all the lost time. But was it a nice surprise? Yes, it was. Best Christmas for Breast Christmas. Breast Christmas. Six months, Lieutenant Paul Carroll has been overseas, but he is home now, and we were there when his son got the big surprise. Yeah, we ran the story initially on Friday, but on Veterans Day, we wanted to run it again, partly because it is so special, and partly because, well, we could just run one of these every day yeah, and, sure and watch could. it over and over again. Here's News Force Nigel Robertson with the surprise. Just look at him. Josh Carroll, an eighth grader at Lead Academy in Greenville, has no idea what is about to happen. His mother, however, does. Jamon Williams. You see, Josh thinks he is just at another end of the nine weeks awards program, but what he doesn't know is just outside the cafeteria. Yeah, we're going to try to pull it off. He thinks I'm coming home in about three weeks. Yep, his dad, Lieutenant Paul Carroll, is home from Afghanistan. Mom and the school staff planned the whole surprise. Today we also want to pay honor and tribute to another type of service. Now the moment is just seconds away. The final award is for service to your country. Josh and his mom are called up in front of the whole school. Now just watch and listen to what happens next. Please make welcome back home First Lieutenant. <laughs> I'm out of the responders. 
<laughs> Dad and son together again. Nigel Robertson, WIFF News 4, Greenville. Wow, there's some, there's some raw emotion for you. I wanted that, to talk after just, this. That is just fantastic, mm. and apparently the surprises continued. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Friday night, First Lieutenant Carroll's two other sons also came home from the Citadel for the weekend. They also had no idea that their dad would be there waiting for them. Tonight, for an Army Chief Warrant Officer returning from a year long deployment in Afghanistan, but he will have his three children. Today, the single dad went school to school, surprising each of his kids. And now, his news reporter, Leal Stalworth, was there for all of the emotional reunions. California Army National Guard Chief Warrant Officer David Duran has been away from his family in Afghanistan for a year. That is until today when he surprised his 14-year-old son at his middle school in Lincoln Heights. <sighs> this is good. <laughs> I want to spend the, the whole time with him. Every minute. Oh, this is raw emotion, you know, that's just the way it is. The, the, the battles are not just overseas, you know, the battles are, are here at home. I'm a single father, so having my sons, or uh, having my kids, you know, uh, endure that. Um, the uncertainty of, hey, is my father ever coming back? David understands how blessed he is to have his dad come home. He understands that not everybody will have the opportunity that he has. He's a very sensitive kid. After surprising his boy and getting a certificate of appreciation from school officials, at Nightingale Middle School, it was time for Chief Warrant Officer Duran to give his next child... <laughs> Nicole Duran, a senior at Lincoln High School, the same heartwarming Valentine's Day gift. I love my dad. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love you. Honey, your daddy's a hero. I love him so much. And sweetie, you were not only crying, you were shaking. Yes, I, I was. Just, I, I didn't expect him coming. I thought he was going to come Saturday, we were going to pick him up. Could you have asked for a better Valentine's Day gift? No, I couldn't. This is, this is amazing. I, I love this. It's a great gift to give her. You know, it's a, her senior year, so it's a pretty special moment that uh, I'm glad I was able to give her. We're not done, folks. Chief Warrant Officer Duran will be arriving here at the third and final school to greet his third and final child, giving that child the heartwarming Valentine's Day gift of a lifetime. Fourth grader Luce Duran was filled with tears of joy as she threw her arms around her daddy at Gates Elementary School. We always think of those reunions, and I'm just one of the fortunate ones. Every day, including Valentine's Day, our hearts are with our troops. Leo Stallworth, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Does she see you? Here she comes. Crystal, take my phone. Oh my God! Oh my God! My Here, hold it. for weeks now, Mom. Monica Velasquez is here to pick up her fifth grader, but today it's a very special surprise. They haven't seen each other in a year since Velasquez was deployed to Afghanistan. I missed everything about her, her voice, and her seeing her face every day. That's the first thing that came to mind was always my kids. 
The surprise was planned by Victor Sosa, Velasquez's sister's boyfriend, a college student who's helped take care of Jamie while her mom's been away. Jamie wasn't expecting her mother until next week. It's indescribable um, being away from someone you love with all your heart, like a mom. She didn't even see the birth of her grandkid. That's why I wanted to do it so bad for her. I know the sacrifice personally from my family and just seeing the sacrifice from her family and it makes everything worth it. That sacrifice for her country, taking the single mother of three halfway around the world, her kids counting the days to see her again. What are your fears when she's away? Um, that she doesn't get shot or anything because I will miss, I will miss her. Velasquez is back for two weeks, then headed to base in New York. She has another year and a half of military service and then hopes to see her kids grow up, not via Skype, but in person. Yeah, you got taller. Birthdays, holidays, just pretty much I miss everything for a whole year. It's time that I can't really make up, but just spend more time with them. In Pacoima, Rudabe Shabazi, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Chad Boley from Ramstein Air Force Base in Germany introduces our honorary starters for today's NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race. Hello to everyone. I wanted to thank NASCAR and the USO for bringing my family Stephanie, Austin, Cameron, and Gwendolyn out to this race today. I love you guys and I wish I could be there with you and I cannot wait to be home with you guys here in a few months. So please help me welcome home from Ramstein Air Force Base in Germany to Sergeant Chad Boley. their shocked faces when I came walking out, especially my daughter. Just seeing her come running up is amazing. No, I don't know what to say. I'm just ready to go. flying a few planes, going on some top-secret military missions, and soaking up some rays. Fatty and Wolfie are back home in Greensboro. This is Wolfie the wolf and Fatty the flamingo. The stuffed animals belong to Tech Sergeant Andrea Davis's daughter, but when she was deployed earlier this year, the girl loaned them to her mom. They loaded them up with lots of hugs for me before I left. As often as she could, Davis sent pictures of Fatty and Wolfie to her daughter from all sorts of places, but the pictures her daughter saw today were only familiar spots. After WFMY, Davis headed to the Greensboro Science Center. Next, a stop at Krispy Kreme. As Davis snapped, there we go. she sent the Are photos to her daughter's teacher who was in on the surprise. What do you notice? It didn't take long for Davis's daughter to realize what was going animal. on. Where does it look like the stuffed animal is? The flamingo is my stuffed animal. Armed with donuts and the stuffed duo, Davis waited for her cue. A sweet surprise. And a long awaited reunion. I missed you. <laughs> Oops. 